The following is a presentation of Radio Alabama Sports. This broadcast is copyrighted by Radio Alabama for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast, descriptions, or accounts of the game without Radio Alabama's consent is strictly prohibited. This is the Star Physical Therapy Leadoff Show on the Aggie Sports Network. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one. Welcome into the Star Physical Therapy Leadoff Show. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one on a Friday afternoon. Silicaga will host Game 2 against the Shelby County Wildcats after dropping Game 1 on Wednesday, 14-4. In Shelby County, Jeremy Law, Josh Fedoris with you for both games if they do indeed play both games, which would mean the Aggies need to win game number two to get to game number three. Josh Fedoris, the Aggies, we felt like they were going to come in on Wednesday playing their best ball. Things got away from them quickly. How do they rebound? You know, I just think knowing the importance of the area series matters, and you got a kid like Tony Landers on the mound, you're going to definitely get good play. Um, and, you know, I know it sounds crazy being down 0-1 in the area, but you're still – in control of your destiny. So control what's in front of you. Um, Tony Landers, I expect a big game out of him. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, you start to think about if to win the area, you have to win this game too. It's all going to start right here, and then things will play out next week in that series against Clay Central. But you're throwing your guy on the hill today. Tony Landers coming out. Last two performances have been big time. A perfect game against B.B. Comer. Defense gave up two runs while he was on the hill Saturday against Benjamin Russell. The Aggies are going to need that type of performance on the hill against a really solid Clay Central, excuse me, Shelby County one through nine. Absolutely. Not only is it going to be exciting to watch Tony on the mound, but we also got JT Sumner back behind the plate in this game right here too. So they're, they work well as battery mates, and, uh, you know, it's just going to be a fun game. Is it How that game ended up, the mindset of the Aggies, the mindset of the Aggie coaching staff, what are you feeling going into this game too? You know, it's not cliche, but you really have to erase it. You have to forget about it because if you remember, Jeremy, going into that fourth inning, it was 4-2, to two, Silicaga was in the lead. So, uh, you know, control what you can control, clean up a few things defensively, uh, but I definitely expect to see Tony not, uh, not give him too many walks off the mound today. Let's go ahead and give you the State Farm agent. I'll be a steer starting lineups for Silicaga. Leading it off, it'll be Bryce Oden in center field, Brady Thomas, Back to the two slot at shortstop. Tony Landers batting third, obviously on the hill, as we just mentioned. J.T. Sumner behind the dish. Cleanup man tonight batting fourth. Will Combs, your D.H., batting fifth. Connor Phillips, I think moving maybe back down to that sixth spot, maybe out of comfort more than anything for Connor Phillips. We've seen him really play his best ball at the plate, batting sixth. Hunter Mims in right field, batting seventh. Braden Large at second, batting eighth. And um, Jamari Thomas in left field batting ninth. Christian Walker will play first today, but Will Combs will DH for him. You look at the Aggie one through nine, not a lot of changes. The Aggies are going to need their order that has come up big so many times this year to have a big day. Absolutely, and I just want to touch on that point you made about Connor, too. I think six is going to be a comfortable spot for him today. It may put him in a few more fastball counts, and there was several times in the last few games where just like that five or six hole came up in big situations. So even though he's bumped down in the order, he'll still come up in big-time moments. Just quickly, again, about Tony Landers on the hill. Obviously, he needs a big day. He's brought his best stuff lately, and it's heck, I don't know if he still has two broken fingers, but the last time we saw him, he had a splint on his – Last two fingers on his right hand. That's an injured Tony Landers. What do the Aggies get with a perfectly healthy Tony Landers? Well, I just think, you know, he, he gives you what you want out of a starting pitcher, and that's a chance to win the ball game, and that's all you can ask out of him. And, uh, you know, if he does choose to go out there with the splint on today, it may give him some extra movement on some all-speed pitches. So uh, it's going to be fun to watch. You see Tony Landers, he has the jacket on his right arm standing outside of the Aggie dugout. A breezy afternoon here on the Star Physical Therapy leadoff show, although the the wind has died down momentarily. Maybe not as good conditions for batters today as we saw Shelby County rip a few in that airstream in left center field on Wednesday. How does how how does it help the Aggies being here at the Walt today? I just think, you know, it, it's uh it, it does play a big advantage here knowing that the ball is not gonna fly out as much. So Tony pounding the zone, you know, he gets a lot of swing and misses, but 
um, anything that is put in play may not necessarily fly as it did on Wednesday. Defensively, it has felt like the Aggie defense, at least the infield, plays a little better for some reason. Whether whether you know, it may not be the case or not, it feels like they play a little better with Tony Landers on the hill. They do. I just think that's you know human nature. When you're when you're throwing your best or you're doing something with your best, you're going to get the best. That's As what Ric Flair said, right? To be the best, you got to beat the best. Right now, the Aggies are the best. They've won. They won the area last year. They're trying to repeat as area champions. Still an area series to go next week. Head coaches will meet at home plate with today's two umpires. We got Billy Paul Williams behind the plate, and that'd be Joe Ewing in the field. So a veteran crew. So you're going to get a well called ball game. You know, Billy Paul will have a consistent zone. Uh, so that will uh, be very encouraging. Coach Jay Brooks meeting with the umpires and Coach Corey Hamrick for Shelby County. Coach Hamrick put a heck of a game plan together on Tuesday. You know, it was a game, Josh, where we saw multiple squeezes. We saw some a lot of small ball in that ball game. Again, things got away from Silicaga if you're just now joining. It's a lopsided scoreboard, but even into the fourth inning, although we only played five, it was a 4-2 to two Aggie lead. With it being an area game, I expect both coaches to be rather aggressive today, whether they pull out the squeeze card or, you know, run the bases a little more aggressively. But knowing what is important is area in area play, uh, I don't expect them to be too conservative. All right, that'll wrap up the Star Physical Therapy leadoff show. First pitch when we come back between Sylacauga and Shelby County. This is the Aggie Sports Network brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. There sure are a lot of bathroom and kitchen contractors out there, and they all seem to have the same unsubstantiated promises. Cheapest, quickest, etc., etc. Well, here's one promise you can actually count on. For reliable and affordable plumbing services, there's no better company to trust than Ponder Plumbing. Providing excellent customer service isn't just their job, it's their passion. Ponder Plumbing is committed to making sure that you are completely satisfied with their work so that you can be comfortable in your home or business. Don't just love your car, love your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Coosa Pines for a great rate and up to $200 cash back. You might even lower your payment too. Save time and get pre-approved ME apps or online at coosapinesfcu.org. Did you know that Coosa Pines was voted best auto loan in the Coosa Valley for the last three years? A great rate, cash back, and joining the best. What's not to love? It's literally insured by NCUA. Rates vary. Details and restrictions at coosapinesfcu.org. Let us find what you're looking for. This is Blake Farr with Area Real Estate. The main complaint that I get from people is that a real estate agent didn't communicate enough with them, likely because they didn't care as much as we do. We're the real estate team that specializes in this local market. We have a reputation for putting you, the client, first. Anytime you want information on the market or you're ready to buy or sell, stop by our office on West Fort William Street anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Let us find what you're looking for. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. Toyota of Sylacauga has you covered with exclusive VIP direct pricing. Enjoy incredible savings of up to $6,000 off the total suggested retail price on select Toyota models. Experience the thrill of driving a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV while keeping more money in your pocket. We don't have it on the lot. We'll find it for you. Drive home in style with VIP direct pricing at Toyota of Sylacauga with up to $6,000 in total savings. ToyotaofSylacauga.com or visit us Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Toyota of Sylacauga. We're worth the drive and We'll prove it. Don't just love your car, love your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Coosa Pines for a great rate and up to $200 cash back. You might even lower your payment too. Save time and get pre approved ME apps or online at coosapinesfcu.org. Did you know that Coosa Pines was voted best auto loan in the Coosa Valley for the last three years? A great rate, cash back, and joining the best. What's not to love? It's literally insured by NCUA. Rates vary. Details and restrictions at coosapinesfcu.org. Todd Malone is your trusted physical therapist and athletic trainer at Star Physical Therapy. For over a decade, Todd's been improving mobility and life quality 
in Sylacauga and South Talladega County. Star Physical Therapy offers advanced technology and personalized care for optimal recovery. Don't let pain stop you. Discover the star difference. Online at starphysicaltherapy.net. Schedule an appointment today. Getting it done the right way. Embrace the spirit of the travel season with confidence. Be road ready with Right Tire and Service Center. From detailed oil changes, precise tire rotations, and balancing, to installing fresh windshield wiper blades, we ensure your journey is smooth and safe. Don't delay. Visit Right Tire and Service Center today. Getting it done the right way. Revitalize your pharmacy experience at Marble City Pharmacy. Skip the wait and breeze through our fast and friendly drive through window. Enjoy quick service without sacrificing the personal touch. Your health is our priority. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. This is Silicaga High School Baseball, brought to you by Toyota of Silicaga, where they're worth the drive. And they'll prove it on the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosapines Federal Credit Union, where you belong. Sponsored by Central Alabama Community College, State Farm Agent, Albia Steers, Silicaga Chamber of Commerce, Ricky Deason Insurance and Investments, Collier Motors, Snap Fitness, Heritage Freight, Erlene's Flowers, Garris Pawn and Tax Service, Harvey's on Noble. Milo's, Silicaga Health and Rehab, Spring Terrace, Atkinson Homes, Ponder Plumbing, Area Real Estate, Coosa Valley Recycling, Sarah Automotive Silicaga, Amya, Allen Brew Market, Purcell Agritech, Donahue Physical Therapy, First Bank of Alabama, Coosa Valley Auto Sales, Alabama District 33 State Representative Ben Robbins, Broadway Spinal Care, Coosa Valley Electric Cooperative, Marble City Pharmacy, Silicaga Glass, Silicaga Parks and Recreation, Alta Point Health, DT Rentals, Coosa Valley Medical Center, Silicaga Pharmacy, Lori Darlings, Van Zant Hardware, and Wright Tire and Service. Now, the voice of Silicaga High School Athletics, Jeremy Law. Welcome back to the Walt. As Silicaga set to take on Shelby County, you're going to get a first pitch of right around, I believe, 440 as Tony Lander is getting set and ready to go on the hill for the Aggies tonight. Again, we'll give you the Aggie infield. Phillips at third, Thomas at short, Large at second, Christian Walker at first, JT Sumner behind the dish, Thomas in left, Odin in center, Hunter Mims in right. An ever important game number two against Shelby County today at Walton Cruz Field. And the Aggies have one of the Class 5A's best on the mound. You know, one thing that I noticed about Shelby County here too, Jeremy, they scattered nine hits on Wednesday, mixed in a home run, a few doubles. But Silicaga gave them nine free passes, whether that be via walk or hit by pitch. So they stuck with the same one through nine as it worked for them on Wednesday. But... Just going back to our pregame, if Tony pounds a zone, it might be a little bit different game. This is the Aggie Sports Network presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union online at coosapinesfcu.org. Right now, Coosa Pines running a great promotion for you. They auto refinance cash back. All you need to do is apply online to see how much you can get cash back for refinancing with Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Live game coverage brought to you by our friends at Toyota of Silicaga. They're worth the drive, and they'll prove it. As we're almost ready for this Donahue physical therapy first inning. A couple more pitches for Tony Landers. The Aggies now 15 and 5 on the year. Excuse me, 14 and 5 on the year after that game won on Wednesday. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Landers. Here we go. Today. I'm ready to go. I don't need any more to bring them on. So we're going to. So leading off for Shelby County right here will be your designated hitter, number five, Sam Carter. It'll be Sam Carter to lead it off. Tony's warm-ups pitches look very nice. Uh, he seems to be not wearing a splint today, so he seems 100%. Carter 
Walked his first at bat on Wednesday, got caught in the rundown. You could say the same thing for Matherson, who's batting in the two slot today. Christian Walker able to pick off two guys that he put on base in the first inning. As this pitch from Landers is called for a strike, now a one and one count. Yeah, he, uh, Carter, being in the leadoff spot, he also got hit by a pitch on a three ball count Wednesday, too. Called strike two for Tony. Works the splitter, works the fastball. Tony Landers, a good arsenal. As he's ahead, one and two already moving as Landers. Gonna get a, well, that was a two and one count. Now it's two and two. Yeah, I guess the 1-0 uh, the pitch missed. The, we could get a little bit of clarification from Billy Paul, our home plate umpire, there we go. It won't matter, swinging strike three. Start the Tony Landers K counter early. Now stepping to the plate will be number 10, Kobe Matherson. You know, I just think that's what it's going to take ultimately to put away a Shelby County lineup is you're not just going to beat them on one pitch. And Tony uh, displayed a nice curveball right there to put away Carter. This one gets away from Tony. So now one out, excuse me, from JT. Got one out in the top of the first inning. Tony Landers, one strikeout. Matherson at the dish. Landers working fast, lays a fastball inside. Now 2-0. and oh. Game two at the walk. Inner half, fastball call to strike two and one. Landers runs outside here. Now three and one. As you mentioned, too many free passes on on Wednesday, can't afford that against a good team. See if we can come back in this at bat against Matherson. Now three and one count with one out at the top of the first inning. Shelby County at the plate. Landers from the windup, got a check swing, called for a strike three and two. And in very Tony Landers fashion, he is working quick here. I, I don't want him to rush though. I noticed that he's missed a few times with his fastball down in the dirt. Three, two, Landers just missed. Landers one to the corner, didn't get the corner called. Now stepping to the plate will be number 13, Cooper Pennington. Here's yeah. Pennington who sent one off the left center field wall on Wednesday. And you know he's stepping in the box a little bit different approach than Carter and Matherson did. He's uh, going to be a little more aggressive early in the count. Landers will step off, no throw to first. Being held on by Walker is Matherson. The small ball mentality of Coach Hamry as Landers misses there, one and oh. And that's probably what that first look uh, on the first pitch, not necessarily a pickoff move, but just want to see if that if Pennington is going to show a bunt. Landers has one fouled back into the backstop, now one and one. A ball and a strike to Pennington. The three-hole hitter, Gannon Farr on deck. Landers makes his move. Called strike at the knees of Pennington, one and two. Seems to be that he may be come out of the gate just working and rushing himself. There's a difference between working quick and rushing, and I think he was just rushing on his fastball. He hadn't spiked the last three that he's thrown. The one-two from Tony. Breaking ball, missed inside, two and two. JT Sumner already picking a couple out of the dirt to keep Matherson at first. Excited to see JT with the gear back on. The two-two. Sent in the air to center field. This one's in the gap. This one's gonna roll to the wall. Matherson rounding second. He's gonna score. Pennington gonna stop at second with an RBI double. And one nothing, Shelby County. Not too often you get a rip like that off of Tony Landers. But hey, you got to score one to beat him anyway. You know, you just left a fastball up to the three hole, and Pennington did what he was supposed to do with it. Just working down in the zone is the adjustment that Landers needs to make. Here's Far. Back to a righty on righty. Pennington at first. Wildcats scoring earlier, runner at second. Landers checks on Pennington, makes his move to far. 
Call strike one. Gannon Farr with a two for four performance on Wednesday. Had a couple big hits for Shelby County. Scored a couple runs for him. Aggies in white and Cardinal hats. JT keeps this one from the backstop, one and one. That's white jerseys, white pants, Cardinal hats, black bills for the Aggies. If you look over at Shelby County, repping the black jerseys with white pinstripes today. Those do have white pinstripes on them, don't they? 1-1, one, one, Landers gets this one, hits softly to large. He'll take it off the hop and fire it to first for out two. Landers nearly got it himself. Large able to field it and make the play to first for the second out of the inning. Very nice pitch right there by Tony getting in, knowing that Gannon's a fastball hitter. Just able to get that fastball in and jam him. One of the few times the Aggies have been able to retire far. Here's Rustin, the catcher. First pitch a called strike. It was Rustin in the fourth inning that really broke the Camels back. A bloop single into right and a couple runs scored as he swings and misses here and he's down 0-2. Yeah, that happened in the, it just happened so quick in the fourth inning and so much of it happened with two outs too. The 0-2 from Landers, check swing, won't matter. The Aggies get out of it here. Shelby County leaves a runner at third. You're gonna get one run on one hit, no errors in the top of the first inning. Aggies to the dish with Bryce Oden, Brady Thomas, and Tony Landers in the bottom of the first when we come back. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Don't just love your car, love your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Coosa Pines for a great rate and up to $200 cash back. You might even lower your payment too. Save time and get pre-approved in the apps or online at coosapinesfcu.org. Did you know that Coosa Pines was voted best auto loan in the Coosa Valley for the last three years? A great rate, cash back, and joining the best. What's not to love? Federally insured by NCUA. Rates vary. Details and restrictions at coosapinesfcu.org. Toyota of Sylacauga has you covered with exclusive VIP direct pricing. Enjoy incredible savings of up to $6,000 off the total suggested retail price on select Toyota models. Experience the thrill of driving a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV while keeping more money in your pocket. We don't have it on the lot. We'll find it for you. Drive home in style with VIP direct pricing at Toyota of Sylacauga with up to $6,000 in total savings. ToyotaofSylacauga.com or visit us Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Toyota of Sylacauga. We're worth the drive and we'll prove it. The Aggie Sports Network is driven by right tire and service. Drive smoothly on the right tires and keep your ride in mint condition with the right parts. Right tire and service on West Fort Williams Street in Sylacauga. Aggie Sports Network, driven by our friends at right tire and service. Get it done the right way at right tire and service on West Fort Williams Street in Sylacauga. Jeremy Law, Josh Doris with you. The affordable heating and air broadcast booth. one nothing Shelby County after a half inning. The Aggies will send the leadoff man, Bryce Oden, to the dish. It'll be Oden, Thomas, Landers, J.T. Sumner, the first four up. As a walk and a base knock, able to score a run for Shelby County in the top of the first inning. This Nate Owen kid, uh, he seems to be throwing a lot of strikes here in warm-ups, mainly with his fastball. So hopefully Silicaga seeing what I see and they can go attack. Good fastball here. Like we said, Jeremy, you got to score one to win it anyway. Nate Owen on the hill. Far at third, Matherson at short, Paul at second, Pennington at first, Rustin behind the plate. Blevins in left, Gann in center, Morris in right. For Shelby County, and here's Bryce Oden. Owen played third. On Wednesday, back to the hill now in game two. From the wind up, first pitch to Bryce, a low fastball 1-0. and Bryce had a one for three day on Wednesday. Looking to top that a little bit today. You know, when he's on base, he is fun to watch. The 1-0 pitch, fastball down the heart, called for a strike one and one. Bryce Oden wearing the number 14 in white, numbers in Cardinal for the Aggies. Black batting helmets, red bat for Bryce Oden. The 1-1 one, one coming from Owen. Takes a look down at Davis Rustin. He'll kick and fire. 
Fastball upstairs, two and one. Good eye by Bryce. I know oftentimes he would like to chase that ball up at the letters a little bit, but really good take right there. Two and one to the Aggie leadoff man. This one screeches to the backstop, three and one. It's very encouraging to see however you can get your leadoff man on there. But again, going back to just that pitch that he saw his previous at bat, or, or the, the earlier in that bat, you don't want to chase anything here. Let them come to you in a fastball count. Three balls and a strike. Top one, and there's strike two. Close and called a strike. The three, two. Good Ball at bat. four. Good at bat for Bryce Oden. Never had to take the bat off the shoulder. Able to get on base, and here's Brady Thomas, the guy that you feel likes do for a base hit. You, you may see him sacrifice here. Not sure if uh, Coach Brooks is going to let him swing it or not, but, I mean, that's that's ultimately what you want to do is get the leadoff guy on, so we'll see what they do here. Far already playing inside of the grass at third base. Would not be surprised to see a sack bunt. Bryce with a good lead at first. Not yet to the lip. Here's the pitch to Thomas. Takes a strike, 0-1. Man, if he, if he is going to get a swing the bat here, he, uh, he just missed a good pitch right there by taking it. I'll we'll see him right down the middle. Righty on righty, Owen set. Bryce being held on by Pennington at first. Bryce is going to go. Thomas hard hit, ground ball over to second, taken in by Hall. Just as good as the sack bun is Brady Thomas, able to move Bryce Oden around and now one out. For Tony Landers. That's exactly right. It's just as effective as a sacrifice bunt. Now you're looking at the tying run and scoring position with one of your better bats at the plate. Landers into the box. Bryce Oden at second. Pitch to Tony, sends one high in the air to short center field. This not going to be able to move Odin. A little first pitch swinging for Tony. And now two outs with Bryce Odin at second. And now step into the plate for the Aggies. will be our catcher, number 33, J.T. Sumner. Yeah, Landers might have been a little overly aggressive right there, just getting way out in front of a fastball and in a shallow fly ball to center. Aggies need a base hit now with two outs. Pitch from Owen, a called strike, nothing and one to JT. One nothing Shelby County, one run on one hit. Shelby County is really paying a lot of attention to Bryce at second, making sure he doesn't get too big of a secondary. We need him to get one so we can go score on a hit. JT able to hold off a curveball that's sliced out of the zone, one and one. JT 0 for 2 Wednesday with a walk. The 1-1 one -one coming to Sumner. A rip but foul down the third base line. Had a good spot on it, just missed spare territory. Yeah, he didn't miss it by much. Bryce for sure stands up scoring if that ball is fair. Now we're sitting here with two strikes. Owen. Back on the hill now, set for the one and two. Takes a look at Davis Rustin, his catcher. Man in scoring position is Bryce Oden. The pitch, down nice in the read. dirt. Good read for Bryce, he'll take third base. Very nice read by Bryce right there. You know, it's best to just expect the dirt ball. That way, if you get it, you're not shocked by it. And that's what Bryce did right there. Very good jump, putting himself 90 feet closer.
Two, two, coming. Well outside, ball three. Will Combs is on deck. Rustin's gonna work hard back there, but dude, this first inning, Nate is working him a little bit. Three, two. High in the air, center field. Gann there to make the catch, and the Aggie strand, a runner at third. No runs, no hits, no errors in the bottom of the first inning, and we'll head to the top of the second. Shelby County leading 1 0. We'll be back. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Hello, it's Albia Steers, your local State Farm agent. Just like a good neighbor, I'm by your side, ready to help in any way possible. Your home's protection, your vehicle's safety, and your family's future matter to me. With home and auto insurance, plus life insurance options, I'm here to make sure you and your family are covered where it counts. Call or come by the office on North Broadway in Sylacauga. For personalized insurance solutions tailored to you, choose Albia Steers, your local State Farm agent. Todd Malone is your trusted physical therapist and athletic trainer at Star Physical Therapy. For over a decade, Todd's been improving mobility and life quality in Sylacauga and South Talladega County. Star Physical Therapy offers advanced technology and personalized care for optimal recovery. Don't let pain stop you. Discover the star difference. Online at starphysicaltherapy.net. Schedule an appointment today. The Aggie Sports Network is fed by Harvey's on Noble, your local family-friendly restaurant and event venue in downtown Sylacauga. Aggie Sports Network fed by Harvey's on Noble. Top two is where we stand. Sylacauga hosting Shelby County in an area series. JT Sumner right, fires it down, down and Shelby County is going to be with Owen Morris Blevins, the six, seven, eight in the order. Yeah, Owen was a uh, very effective at getting on base. He was one of those that got on base three times, free pass, two walks, and a hit by pitch during Wednesday's game. Pitcher on pitcher battle here. Landers left one low, a ball, and no strikes to Owen. I've noticed that majority of these right-handed batters, as soon as they get in the box, they're really digging in their back foot. 1-0, the, the check swing that pops out of the mid of Sumner, 2-0. Tony Landers working on the mound with his right foot. A walk in the first, came back to bite us as Pennington was able to drive in Matherson. Behind here on the leadoff man of the inning. Gets one ripped foul. Well, that was a long shot for Owen. It was a long shot. It kind of goes back to what Christian dealt with on Wednesday. You know, it's best to just not get behind in the count. The way these guys cannot just sit on the fastball. Two and one from Tony. Not real sure what happened there, Jeremy. Three and one. Looked like the ball landed in the grass for Landers. Three one. Ball four. Lead off man on base. Now stepping to the plate, the right fielder, number 67, Michael Morris. And they're going to run for their pitcher here. Seems to be number 22. Christian Reed, and here's Micah Morris. Aggies were able to run Morris off the mound in the third inning. And he came back big time in the bottom of the fourth. A two RBI double. And that 10 run inning for Shelby County. You know what's interesting is uh, I, he may be eligible to pitch today as well, Micah Morris that is. Pop up right side, will it stay in play? It won't. Just bounces over the Shelby County dugout and an 0-1 count to Micah Morris, who's in right field today for Shelby County. Coach Hammer putting on a little bit of 
couple signs over there. I'm wondering if they're going to bunt here. Connor's playing it as if they are on third base corner. They may try some straight steal. Morris will square. He'll push it up towards Landers. Landers will field it in the underhand flip to Walker. For out one. Good job by Tony right there, just fielding his position, getting the sack one. I give you an out, take it. Now keep that guy there. Left fielder Blevins. No hold on Reed at second now as Thomas gets back set. Landers will deliver a first pitch called strike. One out, Reed at second. 0 and 1 count to Blevins. You know, different than we've already seen a little bit of difference between Landers outing today and last week. He didn't throw out of the street stretch at all last week, Jeremy. No, no runners that, you know, got on base. Blevins Deal. swing and miss the throw to Phillips at third. Might have been in time, but Phillips wasn't covering the bag. Kind of looked over to the rest of the infield to let him know that the runner's moving. Yeah, as he's playing just in front of the bag, he's not really aware. He does have to see runner and bunner there, though. Uh, it's not best positioning by Connor. Now man at third. Here's a rip in the left. It'll get down, and a run will score. Two nothing, Shelby County here in the top of the second inning. And now step into the plate will be your center fielder, number 16, Dan Gaines. Both of Shelby County's runs came on a hit, you know, that started with a walk. I mean, hit, follow, and walk, all the, you know, you just you putting yourself in a tough spot. Just one out and a runner at set first. First pitch strike called to Gann. Gann hit a homer on Wednesday over the left field wall. The 0 one bunted foul. Yeah, I expect I expect both coaches to, again, mix and match all day. Gann showing that late. He might have been trying to go for a, a bunt for a hit instead of a sacrifice there. The 0 2 chopped foul. He got a breaking ball well out in front. Two left upstairs, snap throw from Sumner, pulled in by Walker, but not in time. So a one and two count with one out in the second. Shelby County is staying very disciplined on Tony, not chasing too many balls out of the zone. Landers gets a swing and a miss here for out two. That was a big out. Stepping up for the Wildcats will be number five, Sam Carter. Back to the top of the order. Sam Carter got hit. With two men on and two outs. The third free base for Shelby County. And here's Matherson who walked and then was driven in by the man behind him, Pennington, last inning. The two outs here, I wish Connor would play a little deeper at third base just to get that force out at third. With runners at first and second, he'll have force at any of the infield bases here. First pitch, curveball, Landers, 0 and 1. Nice first pitch breaking ball by Tony right there. It's good to see him make that adjustment. Called strike two. 
And 0 with two, Kale with two outs. Landers kicks and fires, bounces this one up to Sumner, blocked up, it'll be a one and two. Now to Matherson. Really nice job by JT working right there. Smothering that two strike pitch. You had a feeling that Tony was gonna waste one there. The one, two. Ran outside on Landers, two and two, count even. Two on, two out here in the second inning. Home plate umpire Billy Paul Williams saying that one missed outside a little bit. Can we get out of the top of the second here? And the pitch. Low, three and two. Three, two, two outs. That means that runner at first and second will be running on the pitch. Silicaga's infitters have to be aware of that. Three, two. Lined in the left. There's going to be a play at the plate. Tristan, excuse me, Jamari's throw is up the line, and a run will score. Shelby County tested the arm of Jamari Thomas. And it's 3-0 Wildcats in the top of the second inning. Now stepping to the plate will be the first baseman, number 13, Cooper Pennington. Pennington already one for one with an RBI double. With, uh, with two outs right there, and... Blevins running on, you know, contact. We had a play at the plate. If we if we don't throw it so far off the line, we might can get that third out at the plate. Pennington checked his swing. Probably would have been a called strike, 0 and 1. Two outs, top two, three nothing Wildcats. Bennington watches this one now, one and one. The big lefty in the box. Hard hit ground ball over to Large, fielded by Braden. Plenty of time, and the Aggies will get out of it. Two more cross for Shelby County in the top of the second. We'll go bottom two, trailing by three. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Omnia is a leading global producer of calcium carbonate and a worldwide distributor of specialty chemicals. They service the consumer goods industry, paper and board industry, the polymer industry, and the construction industry. Omnia is a leader in research, development, and innovation to support economic growth and protecting ecological balance, all while fueling social progress. This is the key to today's objectives and future success. Omnia says good luck to all area athletes. Embrace the spirit of the travel season with confidence. Be road ready with Right Tire and Service Center. From detailed oil changes, precise tire rotations, and balancing, to installing fresh windshield wiper blades, we ensure your journey smooth and safe. Don't delay. Visit Right Tire and Service Center today. Getting it done the right way. You're listening to the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, the official broadcast partner of Sylacauga High School Athletics. Back live at the wall. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, Nate Owen says he's ready to go, so lead it off for our Aggies here. Will Combs to lead it off, bottom two, Aggies trailing three nothing. Yeah, Sylacauga's one through four hitters. They, they seem to be seeing the ball real well from Owen. They're just a little bit out front, so... That's a just right here, guys. Oh, and slipped on the hill. See, I thought that happened to Tony Landers last half inning. Didn't have good footing. Now, 1-0 and to Combs. Yeah, the, I'm wondering if the batter's box is the same way. There's a lot of guys really, really digging in today. Field looks beautiful. 
From the windup, oh, and a 1 0 count to Will. Well outside, now 2 0. Oh. Expect a good pitch right here, Will. Owen kicks and fires. Now a 3 0 to the Aggie DH. Let's get the leadoff man on base for the second inning. Connor is eager to hit on deck. He's gonna, gonna have a good day, I just feel it. Wind blowing out towards left. As Will takes ball four. Lead off man on base in both innings for the Aggies and the power now, hitting Connor, Connor Phillips, Phillips to the plate. Number two, Connor Phillips. And we find ourselves here again, guys. Lead off man on via the walk. Let's get him in. Here's Connor Phillips. Can he get around on one of these fastballs? That one popped out of the mitt of Rustin. Now 1-0 to Connor. Two hits and three runs. That's five. Excuse me, three runs on three hits for Shelby County. I you think know, he's trying to get into the hit column here with Connor Phillips. Phillips slaps one foul down the left field line. He, he got a good pitch to hit. I was shocked that he kind of swung after, uh, or swung, excuse me, after NATO and threw five consecutive balls there. How about my southern slang coming out right there, Jeremy? He swung at it. Swing. Well, I just, I have a good feeling he's going to run into a ball today. 1-1 one, one coming to Connor. Breaking ball, got it. There we go. Hey, we'll take it. So two on, and, now, and no and outs for Hunter Mims. Our left builder, three, Hunter Mims. Obviously we know we're in a bunt situation. Let's just see if Coach Brooks calls it right here. It seems that both Shelby County infielders, corner infielders are gonna be far in. Got some speed at the plate with Mims, the right fielder. Combs at second, Phillips over at first. Aggies trail, three nothing. Mims will square on an inside fastball, couldn't get it down. It left him in a tough spot with that ball coming inside. He wasn't quite sure where to go. He's gonna have another chance to execute a bunt here. The 0-1 to Mims, swinging away, foul ball, now nothing and two. Depending on where you push this ball, if it was a bunt, I like to swing there, Josh. You don't have a lot of speed at second. Yeah, that's a uh, that's kind of a classic Joe Torrey move. That's one he would go with often when he managed the Yankees was follow up a missed bunt. And knowing you're in a fastball. 0-2, Mims, a liner to second. They'll double us up. Combs couldn't get back into second. Hall rips that one out of the air in a promising inning with two on and no outs. Turns into a runner at first with two outs. And now second to the plate for the Aggies. Be the second baseman, number four, Brayton Long. It's just an unfortunate break for Hunter right there. He hit that ball well, found barrel quite nicely. Off the bat, I thought he was going to be able to get it up the middle. Man, that would have worked out perfectly. Very unfortunate break. Now Braden Large to the plate as Large bloops one left field foul. 0-1. Oh what a tough break for Silicaga, and that's kind of how it felt how it has felt like this game is gone since the what bottom of the third inning. Yes, on Wednesday. Yeah, that you just gotta find a way to break that chain somehow. You know, we seem to be getting guys on base, so that's very encouraging. You just got to finish it up and get them in. 
Combs did what he was supposed to do. He did freeze on the line drive, but it was hit so closely to second. Combs just couldn't get back in time. Yeah, Hall for Shelby County made a very nice play. But like you said, Will had nowhere to go. 1-1 one, one to Large. Misses out, now 2-1. and one. Jamari Thomas on deck, batting in the nine slot. 3-0 Shelby County in the bottom of the second. Two and one. Now three and one. Connor Phillips at first. The three one from Owen to Large. Runs in tight, and Braden Large draws the five pitch walk. Go, Jamari. Two out rallies are always fun. Now stepping to the plate for the Aggies, our left fielder, number zero, Jamari Thomas. Feels like we need a run here in the second, trailing 3 nothing. Can we scratch one off Owen here? Runner in scoring position, two outs. Wildcats with one in the first, two in the second inning. Aggie still without a hit. Thomas. Foul ball back towards the Aggie dugout. I like the Silicaga has a very good game plan. They seem to be taking good swings first pitch. Several of these guys. Nothing in one with two outs. The pitch, breaking ball, called for a strike. Breaking ball was a little bit slower than ones that Nate Owens thrown previously. You want to say Nate Oates so bad, I, don't you? I, 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 I refuse to say that name. Never heard of her. Who is that? Yeah, you'll see him tomorrow at 7.40. Okay. <laughs> if you tune in. 0-2. Thomas able to stay alive, just gets barreled on that one. Nice job right there. Again, he, he kind of went back with that slower curve ball. He's just trying to beat these guys out in front. So really good job on Jamari's part. Fouling it off enough to keep the at bat alive. 0-2 oh with two outs. Runners in first and second. Aggies trail 3-0. This one down low, Rustin able to keep it from the backstop. One and two to Jamari. Who do you like tomorrow, Josh? Um, I think, well, I, I don't know who UConn's playing. Do you know, Jeremy? Uh, I'm going UConn. As you know, well, hey, you didn't participate, but our office bracket of the 15, I am in the lead there, buddy. I'm taking home gold. The one, two. Outside to Jamari. You know, if I would have filled out a bracket, the Tide wouldn't be in the Final Four. Yeah, I um, – Roll Tide Willie's bracket is still perfect. <laughs> I might get broken up tomorrow as well. Yeah, probably. Two and two with two outs. Do you think that Alabama has a chance? Sure, I'm there we'll in the save, Final Four. We'll save talk for later. Okay. Connor Phillips is second. Pitch to Thomas. Down low, three and two. Very good at bat right here by Jamari. Do I think the Tide has a chance? No. Do I think they could somehow slip up and win? Oh, Maybe. They're, they're in the, you don't end up in the Final Four by accident. Three and two to Jamari. Owen comes set. No hold at first. Now no hold at second. Thomas swings and misses at ball four. And that'll do it for Silicaga in the bottom of the second inning. We've played two. Three nothing. Wildcats lead it here at the Waltz. may not call yourself a superhero mom, but you have many superpowers, like super strength, super speed, and rescuing your children from harm. You also do feats of athleticism, like swinging, blocking, lifting, and playing with your children. So you wear a lot of different hats, and Broadway Spinal Care can help keep you active because that's their power. 
Don't do pain. Brought by Spinal Care in downtown Sylacauga can take care of the pain so you can keep being Super Mom. It's tax time. Did you know you can pay your tax preparation fees with your refund? Just ask for a refund transfer when you visit Garris Tax Office to have your taxes professionally prepared. After deducting authorized fees, the remainder of your refund is dispersed to you by a bank check printed at our office or choose another great disbursement option. Call Garris Tax Office at 256-245-3105 or stop in Garris Tax Office in Sylacauga today. A refund transfer is a fee-based product offered by Republic Bank and Trust Company. Member FDIC. Ask for tax repair for details. Live game action is brought to you in part by D&T Rentals, the official equipment rental company of the Aggie Sports Network. The Silicaga Aggies get work done with D&T Rentals in Silicaga, serving the greater Coosa River Valley region. Dan and Farr to lead it off, and he starts it off with a hard hit ground ball in between third and short, and a leadoff single on first pitch swinging. First pitch, put it in place, no big deal because it's ground ball. Uh, and Tony gets several ground balls, so the double play is in effect here. Three nothing Wildcats in the top of the third. Gannon can run from first base too, so you may see some motion here. There's the catcher, Rustin. Boy, the Aggies. They need to find a way to get out of this inning quickly. They'll square to bunt. Rustin couldn't get it. The throw back to first. The snap throw. Got it. Whoa, there have been some major, major base running mistakes by Shelby County in this series. Rustin didn't get the bunt down far. Well on his way to second. And then the snap throw from Sumner gets him at first as Christian Walker applies the tack. Credit to, to JT right there for seeing that instantly and letting it ride. Christian getting the tag on him. The 0 1 for Landers, fouled back. Now 0 and 2. Well, that's a break the Aggies needed. Lead off single, now an out. There we go. And called strike three. Third strike out of the ball game for Landers. Well, how big was that, Josh Bedore? So you go on from leadoff man on base. To quickly in a couple of pitches, two outs. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're three pitches ago looking at a sacrifice bunt and a guy being in scoring position. Now you're nobody on base with two outs. Just well of an execution by the Aggies. Landers from the windup. Owen takes a breaking ball for a strike, Owen Warren. Misses here does Tony. He evens the count up at one and one with two outs in the top of the third inning. Shelby County leads three nothing. This one grounded foul over towards the on deck circle. Oh, Coach Lane Strickland with the hands. There he is. Owen really swung at that ball quite hard, so you may see Tony try to beat him. So there it is. Owen sends one in the air to center. Bryce Oden charging in, laying nice out pitch. for it, and making the catch in center to retire the side. We'll go bottom three, Aggies trail 3-0. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Nat Fitness Silicaga is here for you 24-7 to help move your body and transform your mood with a strong member community and a super supportive team. Members get access to the best range of cardio, strength, and functional training equipment, plus a free member app for access to workout programs, on-demand fitness, and healthy, delicious recipes. And fitness isn't just a young person's game. Staying active helps to prevent disease, improve mental health, decrease risk of falls, and improve cognitive function. It's never too late to get started. Join the Snap Fitness community today. Snap Fitness on James D. Payton Boulevard right behind Sarah Honda. Getting prescriptions filled at Silicaga Pharmacy is more than a transaction. It's about quality health care. Hang Den can provide you with the answers you need to manage your health concerns. And here's the best part. Because Silicaga Pharmacy is a Health Mart pharmacy, they offer competitive prices and accept most insurance plans. Experience the difference at Silicaga Pharmacy, where quality, compassion, and care come together. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. 
Revitalize your pharmacy experience at Marble City Pharmacy. Skip the wait and breeze through our fast and friendly drive through window. Enjoy quick service without sacrificing the personal touch. Your health is our priority. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Live game action is brought to you in part by D&T Rentals, the official equipment rental company of the Aggie Sports Network. The Sylacauga Aggies get work done with D&T Rentals in Sylacauga, serving the greater Coosa River Valley region. Bryce Oden to lead it off, bottom three. Aggies trailing by three, three nothing. Very nice inning right there, Tony working quick, get him back in the dugout to go score here. First pitch fastball from Owen, ran outside. It's a 1-0 count to the Aggie leadoff man, Bryce Oden. It goes Oden, Thomas, Tony Landers. This inning is Bryce already a walk under his belt in his first plate appearance. Now 2-0. Tough luck last inning at the plate for Silicaga. Now Bryce Oden takes a strike, two and one. Yeah, they, I mean, and what's even, I mean, Hunter, Hunter Mims really hit that ball hard to second base last inning. They got doubled up. The two one, well outside. Bryce Oden, a pitch away from reaching base, had a five pitch walk his first time up. And as a hitter, I love a th good 3-1 count. Might get something to see here. 3-1, and one. Owen from the windup. Bryce chops it over to third, taken by far. The throw to first will get Bryce Oden by a couple steps. Here's Brady Thomas. Bases clean with one out. Brady going a little old school green day. Pretty good walkout song. Brady Thomas, hard hit, ground ball to Matherson. It's short. One pitch in and out. Good contact, just right at him. This game moving along as Tony Landers to the plate with two outs. Landers hitting three hole today, so that means Silicon has been to the plate 12 times. You know, they're putting the ball in play. He only struck out one time. Just got to find that, that hit when you need it. The 1 0. Landers grounds it. And the left. Boy, Tony Landers. Continues his great season at the plate. A two-out base knock. Just the first hit in my book for Silicaga, Josh. Yeah. Double-check that. That would be the Silicaga's first hit. Hey, and that's what it takes. Just get in the hit column. Bring up your four-hole JT Sumner here. Blake Logg is running for Landers. And Silicaga's putting the ball in play. And uh, they're finding Barrel hitting it rather hard, but he's catching some unfortunate breaks right now. JT Sumner will come to the play with a runner at first. JT 0 for 1. Ugly swing for JT. Yeah, he just got a little fooled there. Owen oh, one to Sumner. Loggins running it first. Breaking ball, high. One and one. Wonder if the Aggies will try to get Blake Loggins moving. That's wheels at first base. After falling two curveballs in a row here, they may know that JT's more than likely going to get a good pitch to hit here. Run a gap and go score. 1-1, one, one, Sumner. Ground ball over to first, taken by Pennington. He'll pop up and take it himself. Replay three. Silicaga trails 3-0. As we go to the top of the fourth, this is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. 
Don't just love your car, love your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Coosapines for a great rate and up to $200 cash back. You might even lower your payment too. Save time and get pre-approved in the apps or online at coosapinesfcu.org. Did you know that Coosapines was voted best auto loan in the Coosa Valley for the last three years? A great rate, cash back, and joining the best. What's not to love? Federally insured by NCUA. Rates vary. Details and restrictions at crucifiedsu.org. Your pain relief starts here. Hey, it's Ben Donahue. If you've been sidelined by an injury and your doctor recommends physical therapy, you have to take control of your care at that point. Our caring therapists are experts in pain management and rehabilitation. Tell them your number one choice is Donahue Physical Therapy in Silicaga. Get back to the action faster with Donahue Physical Therapy. Your pain relief starts here. Let us find what you're looking for. This is Blake Farr with Area Real Estate. The main complaint that I get from people is that a real estate agent didn't communicate enough with them, likely because they didn't care as much as we do. We're the real estate team that specializes in this local market. We have a reputation for putting you, the client, first. Anytime you want information on the market or you're ready to buy or sell, stop by our office on West Fort William Street anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Let us find what you're looking for. Michael Morris to lead off the top of the fourth for Shelby County. They lead it 3 0. I see Coach Collier watching. Hey, Coach, as Morris lists one foul. A couple Wildcats watching as well. Always thank you guys for joining us. Shout out to Coach Collier and our good buddy David McCurley, I'm sure, is listening as well. Uh, Shelby County, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help Mr. Rustin get a live stream going for you guys. Here's a little slow roller to large charging in is Braden. Can't get it out of his glove. Yeah, that was a tough play coming in right there, especially for uh, Christian Walker at first base too. You weren't quite sure if he was going to try to break and make a play on the ball. Anytime your forward momentum's coming in like that, it's just really tough. I don't think large was going to get him anyways. I don't either. Fable has a big game tomorrow on the road at Westminster. Looking forward to watching them come back with a victory. 3-0 Shelby County. They'll bunt it up the first baseline, taken by Phillips, throws it on the run. Somebody's got to cover third. Shelby County missed an opportunity to take third as Phillips did get the out at first. Yeah, normally with a runner on first base like that, uh, your pitcher or your third baseman, whoever doesn't field it, normally peels back. And Tony just kind of found himself watching Connor get the out. Good job of getting over there quick. That was Blevins. This is Gann. Gann playing center field. Made a few good plays out there today. Runner at second and one out. Gann takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Found out yes, uh, Wednesday that this Gann kid for Shelby County has chose to play a senior year with a torn UCL. This one's down in the dirt. Sumner able to keep it relatively close. Hold the runner at second, a one and one count. Yeah, you do all the scouting for us here on the Aggie Sports Network. I, I try. I try to bring something to the table here, Jeremy. I got to get on your level. One and one with one out. The pitch from Landers is low. One in the first, two in the second for Shelby County. That's all the scoring we've had today as we stand in the top of the fourth. Pitch upstairs, now three and one. Yeah, to me, Gann's not your traditional nine hole hitter. Gann takes strike two at the knees, works the count full with one out and a man at second base. Watching him through his first five or six at bats of this series, he just uh, he's got some pop. I know he hit the home run on Wednesday and uh, got a very good eye. 3-2 from Tony. They reach for it. They slap it to Phillips. Phillips throw back to second, and they didn't get him. 
They tried to catch him in a rundown. Now two on and just one out. Looked like Phillips wanted Large to stay on the bag. Large came charging yeah, towards the base the runner when Phillips pass. threw it. Micah Morris was already back into second base. Yeah, Silicaga did everything right off the bat. They just didn't execute. I, I don't know if Braden expected a rundown there, but I wish he would stayed anchored on the bag to apply the tag. Yeah, Morris had nowhere else to go. Here's a fly ball right center carrying out Bryce Oden on the run. Makes the catch. Wow. And the nice runners play, will have Bryce. to hold. What a play from Bryce Oden. Had to run at least 100 feet to get over there. He uh, And I lost in the shadow right here of the sun, too. He covered a lot of ground there. And that's the only part of the field that we can't see. The trees blocking out the sun with a shadow right in front of the 304 and right center. Well of a play, and a play that you know Coach Brooks really expects Bryce to make. Where are we at in the order? This is going to be Matherson. So that was Sam Carter. Every time they hit one to right center, you always have to fear the worst that it's getting over the wall. Just over 300. The 01. Stroke foul. Now nothing and two. Two on, two outs, three nothing. Shelby County top four. If you are watching on Facebook and you're ready to go inside, you can watch on the Aggie Sports Network YouTube channel. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And the Aggies for Shelby County to leave two on base and one in scoring position. We'll go bottom four, trailing. 3-0. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Don't just love your car, love your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Coosa Pines for a great rate and up to $200 cash back. You might even lower your payment, too. Save time and get pre-approved in the apps or online at coosapinesfcu.org. Did you know that Coosa Pines was voted best auto loan in the Coosa Valley for the last three years? A great rate, cast back, and joining the best. What's not to love? Federally insured by NCUA. Rates vary. Details and restrictions at crucifines.cu.org. Why settle for dings and dents when you can have a pristine ride that turns heads everywhere you go? Trust the experts at Collier Motors Paint and Body Shop. At Collier Motors, they're automotive artists. They use the latest cutting-edge technology and top-quality paints to restore your car's finish to its original glory. And they offer free estimates so you'll know up front what it'll cost to get your ride looking new again. Call your motors on Old Silicaga Highway. You're listening to the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, the official broadcast partner of Silicaga High School Athletics. Bottom four, Aggies trailing three nothing. Four, excuse me, five, six, seven in the order. Up for Silicaga, it's going to be Combs, Phillips, Mims. It's the part of the order that had a chance to scrape a few across back in the second inning. A line out that ended up doubling us up into a double play. Squandered things back in the second. This one skips to the play from Owen. Yeah, it's now 2-0. and oh. Their second time through the order here. Um, you know, the first time through the order, 5-6-7, even though Hunter hit the line drive the second. That was one of the hardest hit balls of the game so far. It's going to be good to see here. 2-0. Oh. Fouled back. Trying to check. Nate Owen was playing with a brace and still playing with a brace today on the left leg. Normally won't see that from a pitcher. The 2 1 upstairs to Will. He's already drawn one walk today. Yeah, he played uh, third base with it on Wednesday and moved quite well to his left and right. You know, it wasn't very evident that he was wearing the brace. 3 1 Combs rips one over to far at third. Played off the hop and the throw to Pennington is strong and it gets Combs. One out. Now for Connor Phillips. Good crowd at the walk for a 430 first pitch. Such a beautiful park, man. The, the grass is so green. We're having to wear our glasses up here in the press box. 
sun is just beaming off of it. I know the video feed is a little dark. Not much you can do with the sun shining straight at us in the press box. Phillips takes the strike, 0-1. Oh Got to get something going. Game still in reach. Here's a guy that could do it with one swing of the bat. Now 0-2. Yeah, that's the thing you got to remember. The game is still within reach, and, you know, it's just the bottom of the fourth. You still have several more at-bats. So you can't play as if uh, the score is bigger than what it is. The 0-2. Outside to Phillips, a waste pitch for Owen. Now a ball and two strikes with one out. Bottom four. Yeah. Phillips, foul ball. Yeah, you see Connor, a little bit different approach here with two strikes. He's choking up on the bat, which is very good to see. Gives him better control of that barrel. That's what Owen's doing. He's really trying to beat these guys in with that fastball. One, two, tough swing for out two. Phillips goes down swing and now Mims 0 for 1 with a line out. Now stepping to the plate for the Aggies will be the left fielder, number three, Hunter Mills. I think Coach Hammer might have thought that was out three. You see him coming out to the grass from the first base dugout. The right fielder, Mims. We'll say he went around. Oh, and one. What we didn't need was a one, two, three inning for sure. Can Mims put a hit across in here with large on deck? Now one and one to Hunter. There's not a lot of holes in this Shelby County team. Far, this is the third position he's played in this series. Mims fouls one back into the mid of Rustin, one and two. Fards played left, short, and third. And then just through two games, they like I said game one was nine walks or hit by pitches and nine hits. One, two. Outside. Two and two. Looked a little out. Yeah, I think that was the right call by the home plate umpire. Wildcat fans wanted them to ring up Hunter. Up for another pitch, the 2-2. Inside, 3-2. and two. Really nice at bat right here by Hunter. However you can get on with two outs. The payoff. Swing and a miss, and the Aggies go down in order in the fourth. To the top of the fifth we go. Aggies trail 3-0. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. Let us find what you're looking for. This is Blake Farr with Area Real Estate. The main complaint that I get from people is that a real estate agent didn't communicate enough with them, likely because they didn't care as much as we do. We're the real estate team that specializes in this local market. We have a reputation for putting you, the client, first. Anytime you want information on the market or you're ready to buy or sell, stop by our office on West Fort William Street anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Let us find what you're looking for. You're listening to the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, the official broadcast partner of Sylacauga High School Athletics. Top five is Cooper Pennington. Takes a first pitch strike. It's 0-1. Shelby County's going to send their mate of the order, 3-4-5. It doesn't get any easier. Swing and a miss for Pennington, now 0-2. Feels like Tony Landers has settled in. Hasn't given up a run since the second. Yeah, I think he's kind of hit his groove. 
Three runs on four hits for Shelby County. This one's in the dirt, a waste pitch, one and two. One, two, skips up to JT. So a two and two count with no outs. Pennington is one for two. There you go. Takes a call, strike three. Boy, it looked inside, but Pennington, his toes are well over the chalk in the batter's box. Now stepping to the plate will be the third baseman, number two, Gannon Ball. That was a very nice challenge pitch by Tony, too. Like his one two, they tried to go with his change up and just didn't have a feel for it. So I expected him to come something firm there. I want to thank Miss Pennington from Wednesday for this bottle of water that I've been saving. When we get a little parched here in the press box, as this one's driven high in the air, right field, Mims going back at the wall. And it's over the wall. Farr sends one about 306 into right center. And it's 4-0 Shelby County. Gannon Farr is a very good player for Shelby County. And I really like Tony's approach there, just getting the ball as soon as the ball went out. Just gets the next ball and he's ready to pitch. Number 11, Davis Rustin. There's Davis Rustin. Landers misses out 1-0, and oh boy. And hey, that happens. You just have to continue to challenge guys. 4 nothing, Shelby County. This one's upstairs 2-0. Oh. That's the only part of the park that we just visibly cannot see. We All we could see was Hunter Mims get to the wall and stop. He pushes a strike across here, 2-1. and one. Tough break for Tony. Was settling in. The ball was hit high, too. Here's a check swing that's going to end up for a base hit fielded by Thomas, but throwing the first and rusting on. Thomas caught that one well deep in the hole behind third. Yeah, Rustin didn't expect him to even put a play on it. As you could see, he making he was making his route to second right there. Four runs on six hits. The Aggies with just one hit through four. Top five, Shelby County, four nothing. Landers pushes a strike across to Owen. Owen one. You know, it's still only a four nothing ball game. That is a very manageable deficit to overcome. You one called strike two. Manageable, yes, but you start to count your outs down the stretch. Only nine outs left for us at the plate. It's a ground ball chopped foul by Coach Hamrick. If Coach Jeff Bell had a stunt double, it would be they, Corey Hamrick. They are. They're doppelgangers. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, gets in the dirt. First base was occupied. Owen's going to go down swinging. They will take second now with two outs. So a runner at second, two outs in the top of the fifth inning. Now, that will be the right fielder, number 67, Michael Morris. Michael Morris reached on an infield single his last time at the plate. Need to get him here. Landers gets an ugly swing from Morris, nothing and one. That's two really good breaking balls that Landers has delivered in a row right there. The strikeout pitch that put Owen away and then start off Morris here. The 0 1 from Tony. Sumner has to hit the knees and block it up and keep it from the backstop. One ball, one strike, two outs, top five. Landers will step off. Boy, this game too, very important. 
One, one. Just foul. Yeah, missed by maybe six or eight inches. Didn't miss by much down the third baseline. We'll take the strike. One and two to Michael Morris. In the dirt, Sumner with another good block. I really appreciate JT's effort. Every time he just suits up, he, you're going to get the best out of him. It's about the fifth dirt ball that he has smothered. There's a hard hit ground ball backhanded by Thomas. It's short. The throw across to Walker will get Morris. And that'll do it for Shelby County here. In the top of the fifth, the solo homer does some damage, and Shelby County extends its lead to 4-0. We'll be back with the bottom of the fifth. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. Toyota of Silicaga has you covered with exclusive VIP direct pricing. Enjoy incredible savings of up to $6,000 up to total suggested retail price on select Toyota models. Experience the thrill of driving a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV while keeping more money in your pocket. We don't have it on the lot. We'll find it for you. Drive home in style with VIP direct pricing at Toyota of Silicaga with up to $6,000 in total savings. ToyotaofSilicaga.com or visit us Highway 280 in Silicaga. Toyota of Silicaga. We're worth the drive and we'll prove it. The Aggie Sports Network is driven by right tire and service. Drive smoothly on the right tires and keep your ride in mint condition with the right parts. Right tire and service on West Fort Williams Street in Sylacauga. Braden and large to the dish. The Aggies will go 8-9-1 in the bottom of the fifth inning. A 1-0 count to Braden. Aggies trail 5-0. I do want to shout out the Wildcat Diamond Club for promoting our broadcast today. Letting the Shelby County fans back home know that there is a way to listen and watch if they couldn't make the trip. A lot of them did make the trip, yeah, but now with a one-on-one -on -one count to Braden. Now two and one. Might have to turn off those Go Wildcat com in the comments, but we'll let them fly for Sure, now. yeah. Good friendly fire. Two very good communities. Two balls and a strike. This one's fouled back into the screen now, two and two. As we are in the bottom of the fifth, as I'll adjust the scoreboard. Two and two count to large. Aggies trail four nothing. Aggies with just one hit. Two two. Large pops one up left side. Playable for far at third. He'll make the catch in foul territory. Again, just through right here in the bottom of the fifth, it just seems that Silicaga is not adjusting and getting beat out in front. One in the first, two in the second, and then one in the fifth for Shelby County. As Thomas rips one foul over the Shelby County dugout. Yeah, Nate Owen has only struck out two Silicaga Aggies. But Silicaga just getting one hit. Be a great time to get it going. Oh, one. Thomas, fly ball, right field's gonna find grass. Here we go, second hit of the ball game. One on and one out. Now the top of the order to the plate. Nice job by the nine hole from Jamar right there, getting it back to the top. And now stepping up for the Aggies in the play center field for 14, Bryce Oden. That ball hit right in front of the batter's eye and right. We can't even see the right fielder blending in with the shadows in right field. 
And I'll be honest, it was a guess that that one got down to the turf. Had to judge that one off the reaction of Jamari Thomas. Will the Aggies send him? Curve ball inside, 1-0. and oh. You know, Silicaga doesn't have to get all four back here with eight outs to go. Chip away at the lead here. Runners moving. Bryce reaches for it. A liner back to the pitcher. They'll take it themselves. And it's been one of those kind of days. Bryce wow, on a break. hit and run. Sent a line drive right back to the pitcher. Owen ran it over to first himself, and that'll do it here in the bottom of the fifth inning. We'll go top six, 4 nothing. Shelby County with the lead. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you central to your success your future is right now don't wait make your dreams a reality by enrolling at central alabama community college register today at cacc.edu there sure are a lot of bathroom and kitchen contractors out there and they all seem to have the same unsubstantiated promises cheapest quickest etc etc well, here's one promise you can actually count on. For reliable and affordable plumbing services, there's no better company to trust than Ponder Plumbing. Providing excellent customer service isn't just their job, it's their passion. Ponder Plumbing is committed to making sure that you are completely satisfied with their work so that you can be comfortable in your home or business. You're listening to the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, the official broadcast partner of Sylacauga High School Athletics. Top six. Wildcats to the plate. It's going to be 8-9-1. Eight, 8-9-1 one. Eight, one in the order. Blevins, Gann, Carter. 2-0 and oh now from Tony Landers. 4 nothing Aggies trail. Four runs on six hits for Shelby County. There's a called strike. Landers back in the count, two and one. You know, and with a nine and one coming up for Shelby County, they uh, just looking at the chart here, they are finding ways to produce at the bottom of the order. Two sack bunts, two hits. So Tony really has to be on his game here. The two two. Another foul ball towards the Aggie dugout. Landers will kick and fire here. And it runs the count full, three balls and two strikes. Sylacauga, no games this weekend, an area series next week. Here's ball four. Landers lost him. Now stepping to the plate will be the center fielder, number 16, Ben Gant. Runner at first, no outs. Here's the nine hole hitter, Gann. Gann will square, bunt it back to Landers. Landers will take the out at first. Now a runner at second and one out. Now stepping to the plate will be number five, the designated hitter, Sam Carter. With Gann right there executing the sack bunt, that means the seven, eight, and nine hole all for Shelby County have executed a sack bunt today. So Coach Hamrick and the Wildcats just finding ways to produce. To the top of the order and Sam Carter. Carter, 
Flies one, right field, long run for everyone, and it's going to get down in foul territory. Boy, Braden Large put a charge into that he one, did. chasing it down. He went, try to go full extension, Superman Kate. I respect the kid playing the game hard. Just want to get his team back in the dugout and go score some runs. Owen won. Phillips playing on the grass at third. Large will come over to hold the base runner at second. As Carter takes here, one and one. Shelby County's coming up on their fourth time through the order here. Carter leading off. Two and one. Two weeks ago, Shelby County split the first two games with Clay Central, but w did take the tiebreaker game three. This one's down low, the throw to third, gets away from Phillips, no hold there. Really nice job by Brady backing up, and Jamari was coming in hot from left field too. Kind of a delay still right there from second. Runner at third and one out, and now a three and one count. Wildcats looking for insurance. Tony Landers pitch is roped in the left, going back as Thomas. He'll have time to get underneath. But the run will tag and score. And it's 5 0 Shelby County with two outs in the top of the sixth. Now, now stepping to the plate will be the shortstop, number 10, Colby Matherson. Matherson with a bunt. Sumner picks it up to throw to first. Not in time. Infield bunt single for the two-hole hitter Matherson, and they really wanted to get to Pennington with a man on base. It was a very nice bunt by Matherson, really just killing any type of hard now, bunt in front of the mound and showing off his wheels. J2 bounced, got to it quick, just... Couldn't get Matherson, who was barreling down the line. Five nothing, Shelby County. It's Pennington's one for three. Yeah, we got him on a uh, strikeout look in his last at bat. Only really got inside on the fastball. Runners going. Sumner pops and throws, not in time. Got a good jump, Sumner. Put a good throw down there. Just didn't have a chance. Yeah, Masterson seems to have some good wheels on him, too. Makes good wheels with a good jump. It's going to be tough to defend. One one turns into two and one. Landers checks on second, the pitch down low, blocked up by JT. Well, JT's been working hard back there this afternoon. He has. He will sleep good tonight. Well, maybe not, but his uniform will be dirty. Ball four. Don't want to give any free passes, you know, even looking back to this inning, Blevins, who scores, reached on the walk. Here's Farr, who homered his last time up. It was a solo shot. Looks like they might try to get a speed up runner for Pennington. And they will. It'll be 28 Adderholt. It's a familiar remember, name, gotta be Shelby, Shelby County Baseball. And Coach Jay plate. Brooks comes out of the dugout. Two, we'll see if the Aggies make a pitching change or if it's just an infield visit for Coach Jay Brooks. Two on, runners at first and second and two outs. Yeah, I expect just a just a mound visit here to with two outs. 
game plan a little bit, knowing that Gannon hit a home run his last at bat, and it's arguably Shelby County's best hitter. Coach Brooks on the mound with the infield and Tony Landers and JT Sumner. Haggy's down 5 nothing. This is a big at bat in this ball game. A base hit scores one. Far already with a dinger over the right center field wall. Doesn't take much to get it over right center, but it just carried. Yeah, he's having a very good series. He's four for seven on the series. Landers, first pitch of this at bat. Inside, 1-0. and oh. A good first pitch. They'll say it hit him. They say it hit him. Far as on base. Must have just clipped the jersey. Now you'll have Rust into the plate. Rustin, base hit to shortstop his last time up. Bases are full and two outs in the sixth. The 1-0 count to Rustin. I think we got might have got a call strike right there on the outside corner. Excuse me, the 0-1. Here's a swing and a miss now, nothing and two. When Matherson's getting a good lead over there at third. He is. He is expecting a dirt ball as Landers has shown four curveballs in a row, so they're gambling on getting another one in the dirt. 0-2. Landers just missed here. So a ball and two strikes. The pitch, Rustin gets through the gap into right. One run will score. And they'll hold the runner at third. Six nothing, Shelby County. They found themselves putting together a little bit of a two out rally here. Coach Jay Brooks will come back out. That'll do it for Tony Landers. And we'll take a break. Red Sims in the pitch when we come back. 6 nothing Shelby County in the top of the sixth inning. Toyota of Sylacauga has you covered with exclusive VIP direct pricing. Enjoy incredible savings of up to $6,000 off the total suggested retail price on select Toyota models. Experience the thrill of driving a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV while keeping more money in your pocket. We don't have it on the lot. We'll find it for you. Drive home in style with VIP direct pricing at Toyota of Sylacauga with up to $6,000 in total savings. ToyotaofSylacauga.com or visit us Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Toyota of Sylacauga. We're worth the drive and We'll prove it. You like Asian food, fan food, Mexican food, barbecue. You like good old Southern cooking like Grandma used to make. Why go to several different restaurants when you can get it all in one place? Betty Ruth's Cafe, located inside select Allen Brew Market locations, has your hot breakfast, lunch, and dinner ready when you are. Cookies, donuts, cakes, bacon, eggs, biscuits. Should we go on? Check out Betty Ruth's Cafe at Allen Brew Markets for menus. You're all in with Allen, oh yeah. First Bank of Alabama is not just a bank, they're your trusted financial partner. At First Bank of Alabama, your dreams are their priority. Whether you're saving for that dream vacation, buying your first home, or planning for your child's education, they can provide all of your customer and commercial banking needs. But they also have an unwavering commitment to our community. First Bank of Alabama actively supports all of our area sports teams, and they're cheering right alongside you. First Bank of Alabama, where you are first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let us find what you're looking for. Whether you're buying or selling a home, your success hinges upon the advice provided by your real estate agent. This is Blake Farr with Area Real Estate. I can help you understand how much house you can afford. If you're selling, I can estimate the value of your property and how to ensure your property sells quickly for the highest price possible. Stop by our office on West Fort William Street anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Let us find what you're looking for. Rhett Sims in the pitch for the Aggies of freshmen. He'll inherit bases loaded and two outs in the top of the sixth inning. It's a 6 nothing Shelby County lead. From the windup, Rhett. This one off the glove of Sumner. Here Blake comes the here. run to the plate. The Got tag it. at home. Got it. So one pitch and one out on a ball that got to the backstop. It'll get Campbell at her hold at the plate. And that'll stop it here in the top of the sixth inning. Wildcats score two, and they lead it 6 nothing after five and a half. We'll go bottom six. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Coosa Valley Medical Center is excited to welcome urologist Lansing C. Patterson to Marble City Urology, located in the professional office building on Spring Street in Suite 300. Dr. Patterson brings over 30 years of experience and is accepting appointments now by calling 256-401-4045. That's 256-401-4045 for Dr. Lansing Patterson at Marble City Urology. Alta Point Health needs caring people to support and assist those who are living with mental illness. If you're passionate about helping others, want to join a growing health care company, and are ready to love what you do, then Alta Point Health is looking for you. Visit altapoint.org to apply. Why settle for dings and dents when you can have a pristine ride that turns heads everywhere you go? Trust the experts at Collier Motors Paint and Body Shop. At Collier Motors, they're automotive artists. They use the latest cutting-edge technology and top-quality paints to restore your car's finish to its original glory. And they offer free estimates so you'll know up front what it'll cost to get your ride looking new again. Collier Motors on Old Silicaga Highway. Revitalize your pharmacy experience at Marble City Pharmacy. Skip the wait and breeze through our fast and friendly drive through window. Enjoy quick service without sacrificing the personal touch. Your health is our priority. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Bottom six, two, three, four in the order for the Aggies. Thomas Landers, right, J.T. Sumner. Aggies, Aggies down, six zip. Need something good to happen. First pitch to Thomas. Is a liner to short. Man. And it has been one of those afternoons. I, I tell you, at this point, I, I'm not sure what else to change. You know, you're hitting the ball hard, and it's just, man, it's, it's rather unfortunate. The third line out of the ball game. And now, and now stepping to the plate for the Aggies. Even going back to last inning for the Aggies. As Rhett Sims will hit for Tony Landers. One and oh to Rhett. Going back to the last half inning, you just try to get something down, move a run over the end up doubling, doubling us up with Bryce Oden as Rhett puts one in play. Hard hit, ground ball to far. Knocks it down. The throw a tad high, but not for Pennington. Now two outs. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we've said it all game. They're finding ways to get guys on. They just can't move them over and get them in. You know, even with two hits on the ball game, I want to say there's five walks that we've got on. and. Haven't been able to do much with it. Sumner at the plate, one and oh. Sumner, hard hit, ground ball, fair there down the right field line. JT around set first. He's headed to second to throw in the second, not in time. A two out double for JT Sumner. I 
nice hard hit ball down the line there. And at this point, at this point, I expected him to just make a dive and play. Sumner's with a double now coming to the plate. Our designated hitter number five, Will Cole. All right, the Aggies with a chance to scratch a run across here in the sixth. Game's not over, but it's not over, and ultimately that's how you have to view it. It's not over, and you don't have to get all six back right here. Just chip away and then give yourself a chance in the bottom of the seventh. And uh, JT with two outs. Combs Keeping at the, the alive. plate. Phillips on deck. It's like Tristan Tony running for JT. 0-1 oh, to Will Combs. Will was due for a big hit. His only hit in the last two games was a bunt hit that he got on Wednesday. The 0-1 from Owen as Combs. Deep drive right field going back at the wall. Gets down. Tristan Tony around third. Slips coming to the plate. He'll score. There you go. As Will Combs drives in a run, and it's 6-1. Part of the field that we can't see. Thought it had a chance to get over. It hit the wall in the air, and Will Combs delivers an RBI single. I'm with you on that one, Jeremy. I thought it had a chance to get up and get out of here. But I lost it right here with this sun beaming in on us. Nice hustle job by Tristan, too, after he fell down to be really athletic, get up and go score. First pitch to Phillips, a called strike. Two outs and a runner at first. <laughs> Phillips out in front of a breaking ball, 0-2. Oh, Based on that swing, he may get another one. Stay back and use the whole field. 0-2 oh, with two outs. Phillips watches ball one. Six to one, Shelby County. One-two to Phillips. Laces one high in the air. It's out of play. Silicaga's crowd is very much into this game still. The one two. Nearly got him. Now two and two. It definitely wasn't a strike. No. No, that it wasn't. I'm not real sure how Connor dodged that ball, honestly. Mims on deck. Two two. Phillips fouls one back into the screen. Well, Phillips could make this interesting with one swing of the bat. He got a really good swing off right there, and that was the first fastball he's seen in the last few pitches. I wouldn't expect him to see another one of those. Two with two count, two outs. Combs at first being held on by Pennington. 2-2, two -two, breaking ball upstairs, three and two. Phillips staying in this at bat was down nothing and two. Works the count full. Three balls. Two strikes. Runners moving. Phillips. Fly ball into short center. Gann on the run. It gets down. However you can get them. There we go. String a few together. Doubled our hits right here just in the bottom of the six with two outs. Four hits, runners at first and second. That one 
I thought it hung in the air long enough for either Matheson at short or Gann at center to get to it. Yeah, I think there might have been just some miscommunication, which hopefully Silicaga can work to their advantage here. Two on and two out, Hunter Mims. Hit the ball hard a couple times, has Hunter. Breaking ball, gets to the backstop. Hey. Holmes to third, Phillips to second. That's what you got to do, guys. You just got to chip away and give yourselves a chance. Rustin never had a chance to grab that one behind the plate. It hit about halfway up the backstop. And now a 1 0 count to Mims. There's a shot in the center. This one will hang up too long. Gann underneath, and that'll do it for the Aggies as we leave two in scoring position. 6-1 Shelby County after six. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Toyota of Silicaga has you covered with exclusive VIP direct pricing. Enjoy incredible savings of up to $6,000 off the total suggested retail price on select Toyota models. Experience the thrill of driving a new or used Toyota car, truck, or SUV while keeping more money in your pocket. We don't have it on the lot. We'll find it for you. Drive home in style with VIP direct pricing at Toyota of Silicaga with up to $6,000 in total savings. ToyotaofSilicaga.com or visit us Highway 280 in Silicaga. Toyota of Silicaga. We're worth the drive and We'll prove it. Let us find what you're looking for. This is Blake Farr with Area Real Estate. The main complaint that I get from people is that a real estate agent didn't communicate enough with them, likely because they didn't care as much as we do. We're the real estate team that specializes in this local market. We have a reputation for putting you, the client, first. Anytime you want information on the market or you're ready to buy or sell, stop by our office on West Fort William Street anytime between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Let us find what you're looking for. The Aggie Sports Network is driven by right tire and service. Drive smoothly on the right tires and keep your ride in mint condition with the right parts. Right tire and service on West Fort William Street in Silicaga. Top seven. Nate Owen, the pitcher to lead things off for Shelby County. That's the six, seven, eight up here in the seventh. Rhett Sims back out there. Pitch starts him outside, 1-0. and oh. Red Sims with a pass ball. That was credited to J.T. Sumner. They got to the backstop the last time with Shelby County at the plate. He came in with two outs. Able to get the man running from third to home. 1-0. Oh. Sims pushes a strike across, 1-1. One and 6-1, one. to one, Shelby County in the top of the seventh. It's good to see Red out there, a freshman, not backing down in an area game. 1-1, one, one, outside, 2-1. Two and one. That is probably a big moment for him, too. 2-1 pitch. Looped in the left, foul. Owen. That one just kept on telling as Owen is going to have to get back in the box. He Owen has put a few swings on a couple balls today where he has really, for lack of a better word, put his foot in the bucket and really swung out of his shoes. The 2-2, Sims. Gets the signs from Sumner. Pitch. Foul on the other side. We'll do it again. It's a real good pitch location by, by Rhett right there. On the heat turn on the inside fastball, he really got that one away right there on the outside corner. Two two. High. Full count to the leadoff man, Nate Owen. The 
the 3-2 pitch. Nearly hit him. And Owen draws the walk. Man at first with no outs in the seventh. Now batting for Shelby County will be the right fielder, number 67, Michael Morris. That's the 16th walker hit by pitch so far in this series for the Aggies. Very uncharacteristic of this pitching staff. It's been a tough series for sure. This one fouled back off the ankle of Sumner. Maybe the top of the toe. It's about the only part on his foot that's exposed with the guard on it. Micah Morris at the plate, runner at first. Go one, blocked up by JT. Runner at first and no outs in the top of the seventh. Sims with the pitch. Strike at the knees. Now two and two. Two and one and two. Pitch chopped high in the air. Hard minute third. The throw to first late. Just another one of those, Josh, where you throw your hands up in the air. Yeah, what yeah. can you do? Absolutely. I mean, the way that ball hit off the in, I mean, the plate dirt and now, shot towards the sky four, gives Blaine. Connor essentially no chance at a play. And that was a good pitch by Rhett. Unfortunately, he couldn't record an out there. That is Harrison Hardman at third. Square to bunt towards the pitcher. Sims picks it up, throws it to first. It gets into right. One run will score. They'll hold the other at third. Runners on the corners. And seven to one, Shelby County. They're going to take second base there. And Blevins ends up at second. Now stepping to the plate for the Wildcats will be the center fielder, number 16, Ben Gann. Here's Gann. This coach Jay Brooks is going to come out and talk to today's head official, Billy Paul Williams. Coach Brooks is going to ask how Blevins was able to take second. He asked if we had called time or had time. I guess we didn't. Yeah, it certainly doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, I think if Brett could get that one back, he would execute a little better. Got to erase it and go to work here. Runners at second and third with no outs. There's a strike, 0 and 1. Couldn't tell if it was a called strike or did they leave the bat over. It's an 0 and 1 count. Gang going to swing away here. This one foul, nothing in two. Good way to respond right there by Rick, getting two quick strikes. About an hour and 55 minutes into this game. The 0-2, called strike three. First out of the seventh. Aggies trailing, seven to one. Now batting will be number five, Sam Carter. Back to the top of the order, the fourth time through. 
Excuse me, this is the fifth yeah, time through the order. Yeah, this is Carter's fifth at bat here. Wow. Sack flies last at bat. It's Carter. The foul ball. 0-1 with one out. Sims comes back, a little low, one and one. Area series next week against Clay Central. If this game holds as it is, we'll decide who can take the two seed and punch their ticket to the postseason. This one hit him. Base open there, that'll give Silicaga a chance to turn two at any of the bases they want. One out, bases full. The two hole hitter and shortstop Matherson at the plate. Infield coming in on the grass. They got to cut off any runs. As this one's lifted high, right side, large is underneath. It'll catch it at fly. second. It should have been an infield fly. I'm not sure if the umpires called it. Brief us on the infield fly rule quickly. Uh, that's just a competitive advantage. Runners at first and second, or board loaded, less than one out. See so many times big league guys get away with it. I tell you, when Pennington steps in the box, he makes no mistake about what he's trying to do. He's really trying to barrel the baseball. The ball coming from the shade into the sun off the back of Sims as Pennington takes a big swing here. 0-1. Oh Excuse me, it's 0-2. Oh Sims, one's run outside, now 1-1. One one. Excuse me, 1-2. Been a long, oh, feels like we've been up here a while, 6-33. Not the longest one we've done this year. It's been one of the more unfortunate ones. The one-two from Sims is fouled back. Bases are loaded with two outs. Pennington was right on that fastball, fouling it straight back. I'd like to see something from Rhett here just to disrupt his timing a little. A one two. Hard hit ground ball to Thomas. Flips it to large, and that'll do it for Shelby County in the seventh. They do get one run of insurance here in the seventh, and they lead it seven to one. Aggies down to their final three outs here in game two. This is the Aggie Sports Network, brought to you by Kusa Vines Federal Credit Union. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at cacc.edu. Don't just love your car, love your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Coosa Pines for a great rate and up to $200 cash back. You might even lower your payment too. Save time and get pre-approved in the apps or online at coosapinesfcu.org. Did you know that Coosa Pines was voted best auto loan in the Coosa Valley for the last three years? A great rate, cash back, and joining the best. What's not to love? Federally insured by NCUA. Rates vary. Details and restrictions at coosapinesfcu.org.
The Aggie Sports Network is driven by right tire and service. Drive smoothly on the right tires and keep your ride in mint condition with the right parts. Right tire and service on West Fort Williams Street in Sylacauga. Bottom seven. Aggies down by six. We'll go eight, nine, one. Nate Owen trying to get the complete game win against the Aggies. And Nate has thrown quite well today. Only giving up four hits. Just struck out two, but let's see if we can get a little seventh inning rally. This one's down low in the dirt. 2-0 to Braden. Pitch down low, 3-0. It's going to start with somebody getting on base. That's right. 3-0 pitch. Ball four. Walked him on four pitches. That's a start right there, boys. It's not over to the final out. Jamari Thomas singled his last time up. Little ground ball into right field. It just got past Pennington. Expect the Aggies to be a little conservative here. Nobody on base truly matters until you get enough runs. Try to move somebody around as Thomas lifts one foul. Based off the crowd's reaction, that one must have got a car straight back. Hill one coming to Thomas. Took a breaking ball above the Aggies on the chest. Now one and one. One and one, foul back. Ball and two strikes to the nine hole hitter, Jamari Thomas. Now you think through this game, there's a couple chances for Silicaga back in the second, back in the fourth. We were able to get one in the sixth inning. We just had some bad luck plays in this ball game. You know, tough breaks. Rustin sets up outside. Well, two and two. Good take. I, I felt like that ball missed outside. It's a good take by Jamari. Two-two pitch. Thomas hard hit ground ball over to far. They'll get large at second. Slides into second. No throw to first. One out, and now, the man at first is Jamari Thomas. Back to the top of the order. Brady Thomas on deck. This one's outside, 1-0. One Bryce gonna get time. Down by six in the seventh. What does that schedule look like next week, Jeremy? Where is the double header? You know, there's a few people, there's, Silicaga went up to Clay Central and played two on a Thursday but one of those, because they didn't play on Tuesday due to rain, 
There's some debate on whether Clay Central's coming here or we're going there for the double. There's a pop-up right field. Morris makes the catch for the second out. We'll keep people updated. And that series next week. Looking very important. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. Nate O in the pitcher. Looking to go the full seven. With two outs and a runner at first. Yeah, Nate has done what he's had to do to get these Silicaga hitters out. One oh turns into two and oh. Wildcats with one in the first, two in the second, one in the fourth, two in the sixth, and one in the seventh. Two oh. Gold strike. A two and one count to the junior shortstop. As Thomas sends one high in the air, center field. Gann going back, and if one hops the wall, Thomas around third. He's going to score. Brady Thomas with an RBI double. Nice swing right there by Brady. The second hit of the series there. Seven to two. Here's Red Sims. Now stepping to the plate will be our pitcher, number 15, Red Sims. Once Maury Thomas shot out of a cannon around those he bases. He did. He was striding out very nicely and scored all the way around very easily. Let's see if the day is over for Nate Owen. Coach out of the dugout. Runner at second and two outs. Freshman at the plate. And I guess Hamrick just wanted to go out there and talk with his pitcher a little bit with five run lead with two outs. Saw something he wanted to address. First pitch to Sims, a swinging strike 0 and 1. Runner at second, two outs. There's a nice swing by Brady right there. Now 0 2, called strike two. Two. Aggies down to their final strike. One, two. Ripped into right. Hangs up too long, and that'll do it. Shelby County wins this one 7-2 in seven innings. We'll be back with the Star Physical Therapy post-game show. Don't just love your car, love your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Coosa Pines for a great rate and up to $200 cash back. You might even lower your payment too. Save time and get pre-approved in the apps or online at CusaPinesFCU.org. Did you know that Coosa Pines was voted best auto loan in the Coosa Valley for the last three years? A great rate, cash back, and joining the best. What's not to love? Federally insured by NCUA. Rates vary. Details and restrictions at CusaPinesFCU.org.
This is the Star Physical Therapy Post Game Show on the Aggie Sports Network. Star Physical Therapy, where you don't have to be a star to be treated like one. A quick Star Physical Therapy Post Game Show as the Aggies fall to Shelby County today, 7-2 to in Game 2 of this series. Jeremy Law and Josh Bedorce with you for a few more minutes. Shelby County, again, they take this one 7-2. to two. Over Silicaga, Josh, not, not how a lot of people expected this, these first two games to go against the Wildcats. Yesterday kind of got away from us, but today Shelby County able to get seven runs on eight hits. Yeah, they def- just kind of put it together when they needed to. That's what they did, and it's definitely uncharacteristic on Silicaga's part of issuing 16 walks or hit-by-pitches in the first two games of the series. And just looking ahead to Clay Central, you know, that's things that I expect Silicaga will clean up, and knowing that the Clay Central series will determine their season and playoff hopes, uh, you, you're probably going to expect a better effort out of those guys. But, uh, yeah, it was just a tough pill to swallow. Final score today, 7-2. to two. As Shelby County gets the win next week, Aggies facing Clay Central with, I guess, the postseason on the line between Clay Central and Silicaga. You know, now Silicaga's got to take – the first two games they do, and, and, and they're very capable of doing it. The big thing is you don't want to hit the panic button. you still got a very good ball club, very good ball team, and two starting pitchers that uh, traditionally don't throw the way they threw in this series. You just don't expect them to do that again next week. So, and another thing, you know, we, we pieced the ball up today at the plate. Very unfortunate timing on a few plays, but overall just uh, not a great series for Silicaga. Several things to improve on that I expect that they will. That'll do it for us here at Walton Cruz Field. Final score, Shelby County 7, Silicaga 2. This has been a product of Radio Alabama and Silicaga Athletics. Thanks for listening and watching. You've been listening to Silicaga High School Baseball. Brought to you by Toyota of Silicaga, where they're worth the drive and they'll prove it. On the Aggie Sports Network, presented by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union. Sponsored by Coosa Pines Federal Credit Union, Toyota of Silicaga, Star Physical Therapy, Sleeping Giant Heating and Cooling, Coosa Valley Medical Center, Ponder Plumbing, Milo's, Ace Hardware, Central Alabama Community College, Southern Smiles of Silicaga, Marble City Pharmacy, Chick-fil-A, Donahue Physical Therapy, Wright Tire and Service, First Bank of Alabama, Area Real Estate, First Baptist Church of Silicaga, Movement Mortgage, Garris Specialties, Silicaga Parks and Recreation, Coosa Valley Auto Sales, State Farm Agent Albia Steers, Harvey's on Noble, Collier Motors Paint and Body, Ricky Deason Insurance and Investments, Furniture Masters, Cup of Grace Cafe and Coffee Shop, Silicaga Chamber of Commerce, Van Zant Hardware, Sarah Automotive Silicaga, Sycamore Federal Credit Union, Amya, Coosa Valley Recycling, Alabama District 33 State Representative Ben Robbins, Heritage Freight, Ernie's Hot Dogs, Allen Brew Market, Purcell Agritech, Alta Point Health, and Broadway Spinal Care. This broadcast is copyrighted by Radio Alabama for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast, descriptions, or accounts of the game without Radio Alabama's consent is strictly prohibited. Thanks for listening.